As I watched the film The Corporation, I realized that the film is a thought-provoking documentary that delves into the complex and often controversial world of corporate power and influence. It is directed by Mark Akbar and Jennifer Abud. The film can critically examine the nature, structure, and impact of modern corporation on society. Through a captivating blend of interviews, archival footage, and analysis, it paints a compelling portrait of these entities, posing significant questions about their role in shaping our world. One of the interesting plot of the corporation lies in its exploration of the legal status of corporations. The film presents a historical overview tracing the evolution of corporations from their initial purpose of serving the public good to their current status as legally defined persons with rights and protections. This examin examination prompts viewers to question the ethical implications of granting such entities the same rights as individuals while often prioritizing profit over societal well-being. The documentary also skillfully employs interviews with influential figures including CEOs, whistleblowers, and scholars, offering diverse perspective on corporate behavior through this conversation. The film illustrates the internal struggles faced by individuals within corporations, torn between their personal ethics and the profit-driven demands of their employers. This human element adds depth to the narrative, making it more relatable and enjoy engaging for the audience. The corporation effectively exposes the negative externalities associated with corporate activities. It scrutinizes environmental degradation, labor exploitation, and pursuit of profit at the expense of social responsibility. By show showcasing real-life examples and case studies, the documentary brings these issues into a sharp focus, challenging viewers to confront the consequences of unchecked corporation power. Furthermore, the film highlights the concept of externalizing costs wherein corporations sh shift the burden of their negative impacts onto, so onto society and the environment. This notion serves as a powerful critique of the current economic system, prompting viewers to question whether it is sustainable in the long run and if it is adequately accounts for the true cost of corporate activities. Despite its critical stance, the corporation acknowledged that not all corporations are inherently destructive. It explores the emergence of social, socially responsible businesses and the potential for corporation to contribute soci positively to society. <coughs> this balanced approach adds nuance to the narrative, <coughs> suggesting that reform and conscious consumer choices could drive positive change within the corporate landscape. My name is Warren Joseph P. Senoman from BSMA, and this is my reflection video.